Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to Farming Simulator 19. Today we are looking at this 2006 Chevy 3500 Dually. Uh, it's a single cab, obviously, and I really like this truck. So this truck was originally a single cab, long bed, single rear wheel 2500 HD. And then I converted it to a dually. I added the dually bed. Mashed up pretty well with the cab. Dually bed came from another truck. It came from Machines Modding truck, I believe. Mashed it up with the cab, and I added a bunch of options. And I think this is a pretty sweet truck. Kind of don't see too many of these trucks anymore. Single cab duallys. There's a bunch of them out from this generation, but they're hard to find. And usually they're rusty. Uh, or the bed, these fenders, they all, they like to crack and break off. So they're hard to find these trucks. And, you know, they don't really make these trucks anymore, this configuration. Most people go for the crew cab. But anyways, um, we don't want to throw it. We'll get in it. There is a gas and a diesel option. This is the gas option. The 6.0 Vortec or 8.1 liter Vortec. As you can see, it doesn't have the, the Duramax badge on it, and it's a 3500. It's now a 3500 HD. I had to clip off the HD logos from the truck originally. So this is just a gas truck. Um, I think I got the 6 liter for this one specifically that I bought. I don't remember, but eh, it's pretty quick. Um, I redid all the lights on this truck, too. Uh, the lights were pretty bad on it. Somebody did like had never seen one of these trucks did the lights on them so first off you have daytime running lights and then you have the parking lights and then you have headlights high beams and fog lights and the uh, daytime running lights turn off and then the turn signals are the parking lamps in front and back um, you can see running up top reverse there and then the running is also brake and then there's also kind of like a a running light down in the bottom portion of the tail light that part's not entirely accurate because it's not that bright and it's just a small little bulb but this was the best i could do so i did that i really tried to get the lights correct on this truck because the original one was just the lights were terrible on this truck but I think they came out okay. I'm not too happy with the reflectors and the color of the lights, but whatever. Also cab lights, it has cab lights. Tailgate works, obviously. You got a, a gooseneck in there. You can tow any trailer you want with it. it has a hitch back there, obviously. Um, so this is kind of a stock configuration, everything stock. I didn't choose any options on this truck. Um, there's a ton of options on it. I'll show you that in the store. In the store, there's two options for this truck to buy. You can either get a gas or a diesel. So we'll get a diesel here. Obviously, you can change the main color, make it whatever you want. I really like this Delmonico red and this color. I think it looks good in red. Um, you can get a stock hood or you can get a cowl hood. Like I said, cab is from another truck that was kind of like modded up. So I kept the cowl hood. It looks pretty sweet. Um, so we'll do like two builds with this. I'll show you like... Two ways that I would customize it. Um, you can see we add the Duramax logo here. You can get a back rack or shop and fuel tools or both. So this gives you a service function as well as you can fill it up in fueling machines. It does have lights here. They go on with the brake and running. And then you can also add like a 50 inch light bar. Pretty sweet. Huge light bar. Um, so let's add that. Um, you can choose black trim for here, door handles, mirrors, uh, no, not mirrors, and uh, just black trim or color match it. So then you get color match trim here, door handles, and the bumper gets color matched. You can also add door moldings or take them away. The black, the trim, black trim or color match also applies to the door moldings. Uh, no, I scroll down. There you go. I think it looks pretty good in black, too. But we'll go with the color match. Wheels, you can do a bunch of different kinds of wheels. Specialty Forge and Anthems. 
I think this one looks pretty good. Bunch of options for the mirrors and the fender flares. So you can do the old style toe mirrors with no fender flares, old style fender, old style mirrors with black fender flares, or color match fender flares with old style mirrors, new chrome mirrors, black flares, color match, flat match flares, then a whole all color matched mirrors. You know, you get the point. You can scroll through these. Bunch of different combinations. I personally, for this one, would like to go with this combination. Steps can do tube steps or full length steps. These are some grandpa steps. They don't really work on this truck here. I've got to adjust these mud flaps I see. But uh, for stock, they do work fine. Uh, this would be like a grandpa truck here. Bug guard, I custom made this bug guard. I think it looks pretty cool. If you really want to go for the old man truck put a bug guard on there these old man running boards like only old guys have these running boards i think they don't really make these style for new trucks but i love these things and then you can choose 6x duramax or the toe tune uh yeah so lots of options on this truck you can really make it look very different um and then if it's, if it's grandpa truck it's probably going to have the color or the black trim door moldings and there you go. So a lot of options. I really like this truck. I might add a cap too. I'm not sure yet. Grandpa probably wouldn't have the cowl hood on it though or the 50 inch light bar. But I think it's a pretty sweet truck. Definitely a work truck. Um, we'll show you the interior. Interior is very wrong. This is like a 95 interior for a 2006 truck. But like I had with the... Uh, other trucks I've done, I didn't make this truck from scratch. I just wanted to change it up a bit. I wasn't going to put an interior in it. I'm perfectly fine with this 95 interior. I don't use interior camera. Anyways, does have working mirrors all around. Interior's wrong, but the steering wheel kind of... And the steering wheel and dash are right. So I don't know why someone didn't just put the right interior. But, oh well. It works. And we're airborne. And then we got the. I really like those steps. I took them off another truck, edited them down, cut them up, and put them back together in a bunch of different pieces. But, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you do like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, tell me your thoughts down below. I'll leave a link to download this truck down below as well. And I will catch you guys again in the next video.